What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are starting another box of the newest set in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. I have to say, so far I'm a big fan of this new release. Um, a lot of cool cards, and uh, our and <laughs> helps quite a bit that our pulls have been going very well. We got a lot of the cards that we were looking for in this set, in that first box. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely go check it out. It was very successful so we're going to start another one we're going with uh we'll go with the left side again to start off but we did uh very well in the first box so we're going right into it 15 i think it's 15 <laughs> 15 packs of battles of legend heroes revenge this is one of those five cards per pack set so these openings do go super fast but you just get tons of awesome hollows let's get into our first pack Let's see, I think it's uh, one, no, one card to the back. Alright, let's see, we have Unacceptable Result. Ah, uh, this is one of those, um, Fortune Fairies. It's kind of a weird archetype. Then we have, what is this? Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners. Battle Wasp. The Battle Wasps are kind of weird. <laughs> There's one of those Fortune Fairies. What is this? And then our first secret rare is a Sky Striker Ace Ray. Very nice. So some of the cards that we're looking for is that Boral Sword Dragon. We're looking for those Sky Striker Mobilizing Gauges. There is a very cool Blackluster Soldier card we're looking for. And uh, the Owl Mirage. Alright, let's see we have another Battle Wasp. A Luna Light Crimson Fox. Guardian of Order, another Battle Wasp, Pin the Bullseye, and then All Eyes, Phantom Dragon, with no eyes on him. Let's see what else is on this pack art. Uh, I'm not sure who those guys I think we pulled this, this uh, dragon guy though. Alright, let me know in a comment down below how your own pulls are going. Uh, what is the card that you are searching for the most? And, uh... Yeah, I think the one I want right now is that Black Luster Soldier. We have another Battle Wasp, Halberd the Charge, Salmon Great Sanctuary, and then a Cyberstein. I believe this is the first reprint of Cyberstein. Very cool card. Um, just 5,000 5, life points is, is quite a price, but uh, you know, just so many ridiculous things you can do by being able to uh, free summon any fusion monster. We have an Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, Gingerbread House, Shadal Falco, Elemental Hero Stratos, and Vision Hero Ferris. I don't know the Vision Heroes. Um, I'm pretty sure they had nothing to do with GX. Uh, even the Elemental Hero Strat Stratos, like that was probably there, but I feel like I, that name doesn't really sound that familiar. Uh, so maybe, maybe it was one of the more niche ones. Alright, let's see. We have a Shadow Hedgehog. Herald of Arclight. Vision Hero Poisoner. And Summoning Swarm. Dark Sacrifice. Not familiar with this card. Don't think it's that good. <clears throat> let's keep going. Still looking for our first big hit for this opening. And uh, yeah, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already subbed to the I Want a Turtle TCG channel, definitely hit that sub button as well. Bell for notifications. And we have a Imperia. Some kind of reptile. Uh, this card is special summon. Draw one card. You can only use this effect. Hmm. Interesting. So use your normal summon to uh, basically replace that card in your hand. Come on, let's get something good. We have a Vision Hero, which, which Raider? A Battle Wasp. How is that a Battle Wasp? Battle Wasp Nest. Sonic Stun. And Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Hmm, gotta say, this pack opening, does, this, uh, so far this box is not too good. Come on, we're gonna need some improvements real quick. We got a Shadal Beast. Battle Wasp Ballista, <clears throat> the Armageddon, Lunar Light Kaleido Chick, Miracle Stone, and Dino Wrestler Prankatops. 
upgraded from a common all the way to a secret. <clears throat> Anything that card's holding it, like, so, or on one site I looked at, I think it was like $6 or something, which is pretty surprising. From a common. That, that card is good. <laughs> Alright, we got number 26, Spaceway Octopass. Octo Bypass. Looks very alien. Fortune Fairy Who? Guardian Order. Gold Moon Coin. And a High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shooter. We got three packs left. Come on, let's get something good. We have Vision Hero Gravido. Another Battle Wasp, Twin Bow the Attacker. Vision Release. Battle Wasp Sting the Poison. And Fortune Fairy Hikari. Hmm, if you're familiar with the Yu Gi Oh! metagame, let me know. Are any of these archetypes good? Uh, like, I feel like the. Um, the big hits are kind of like one-offs, they're, they're not these Fortune Fairy thing, the uh, Vision Hero, but uh, if Battle Wasp, um, if you're familiar with these uh, specific archetypes, and if they're any good, uh, if they have special, like, what is their, what's their sweet spot, what are they good at, let me know in a comment down below. I definitely have no idea what, what Fortune Fairies are all about. Um, we got a TG Drillfish and Stardust Mirage. Okay, we have one pack left. Come on, let's get one good pull. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to leave so much down, so much uh, pressure for the rest of this box, which I'm not a fan of. We have an Apparition, Wall of the Solomon Great, Subterra Guru, another card that was a common, now uh, up to Ultra, Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll, and for our last pack, Secret Rare, we have a Vision Fusion. Hmm. Not gonna lie, this was a this was a little rough. Um, there's a lot a lot riding on the next video. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that. It'll probably come out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of ground to go. <laughs> uh, don't for, don't be sure to check that out. Uh, we'll see if we can't claw our way back uh, as far as this box goes. But thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.